This miniature mystery box has seven surprises. Let's see what it is. As you can see, here we have the Lil Besties Care Bear mystery box. But since I was able to get my hands on the display case, I figured why not open the display case right away? I mean, we did, we plucked it out. And I have to say, I'm pretty excited to see what exactly is going to be inside these mystery boxes. And these little things are not cheap, coming in at around $12 plus shipping. I'm really curious if they are really indeed worth it. All right, let's see what we have in here. All right, first things first, we get two. Oh my goodness, they are gummy squishy. Get out of here. All right, these are squishy little characters. I thought they would be a very hard plastic, but look at that. They're definitely squishy gummies, kind of like erasers. So we have our first bear over here. Let's see how they look all the way around. I have to say I'm pretty impressed. The paint job doesn't look too bad. Our next tiny bear. Let's pull you out, my goodness. Come out, come out. And it has a different pose. Again, the paint job's not too bad. Very, very squishy. Look at that. Super squishy, hands move, legs move. This one looks like it's walking and this one's just kind of standing there. And then we should get five accessories. Oh, oh no, let's not open that. In the mystery box. So here's the box. Oh, so it looks like we have two different faces. We have a happy face on the side and a kind of inquisitive, curious, hmm, kind of face. All right, let's open you. Cause you, oh my goodness. <gasps> I think this is the one I want. Wait, there's no surprises in this one? Uh-oh. Oh no, wait, is there? Is there anything under here? Hang on, I might be breaking it. Am I gonna break it? I don't think so. Oh no! So the idea is that this box is an environment within itself, kind of akin to Polly Pocket. For those of you who don't know a Polly Pocket, it is a really old school toy, I think from the 80s or 90s, where you have a tiny figurine that can interact with her own world in a small box. And this is basically what caught my attention with this kit over here. Now, however, I don't think we're getting the surprise because this is a display case, but let's take a closer look at the actual set. The box itself tells us there are 10 to collect and they actually tell us what 10 there are to collect I don't want to look in too much detail but let's bring you greens a little closer to it and it looks like we can get everything from gaming to playing cooking singing building baking creating and you see that's the one I really wanted so that's why I was really excited relaxing swimming and celebrating let me know in the comment section below which one of these 10 would you have wanted. For me, it's the creating and gaming because I'm a gaming fiend. And if you don't know about my gaming channel, Raging Raccoon Gaming, I will link it down below. Definitely check it out. We play all sorts of games and I also had a vlog for my Japan trip, also gaming related. But yeah, I'm curious to know which one of the 10 would you want. But also, if you haven't yet heard, I do have my very own craft kit of acrylic pour art. Not just any art. Bears. But Jackie, bears? Yes, this box is called Figure It Out. Mm, 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 mm. Figure it out. Mm, 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 mm. And in this kit, you're going to be getting tiny bears. As you can see here, where Mariah Elizabeth and Hope Scope both play around with the kit. And with these tiny bears, you can either customize it right away with your very own air dry clay in the kit, or you can skip customizing and go straight into bear pour art. In this kit, you'll get everything you need, literally everything from the cup divider where you can put up to five colors, pre-mixed paint, a custom one-of-a-kind drying rack that we had made specifically for this kit, detail brushes, sanding stick, glue, miniature canvases to avoid paint waste, all the way to the little mat that you can put on your desk to avoid messing your own space. Did I mention you get sticker packs too? And in these sticker packs, you have nine to collect and one holographic, but there's also a golden ticket. And if you find the golden ticket, I will leave the prize that you can get down below, which also includes you choosing my next vlog. But be sure to hurry because right now we have an amazing deal for 15% off until March 15 with the code BEARBEAR15. So check the link down below and get yours before March 15. I have to admit though, the bear on the cooking side is kind of rainbow-esque and that one really does appeal to me so I really do want this character. But otherwise they look really cute and even the display boxes themselves are adorable so I'm curious to see how the miniature five surprises on the inside will show up once we open an actual box. 
it makes sense that the one we took from the display doesn't actually have the surprises. We only get the two bears and you know what? Imagine the two bears are the surprise. Two, three, four, five? <gasps> I hope not. I hope not. Which I don't think so. Actually, do they fit inside? Can I put them inside? One bear, two bear. It does not close. Can my bears go inside? No. Oh no. Design flaw. Companies. Who's doing this? Hasbro? It's gotta be Hasbro. Basic fun. Basic fun. Do you need a consultant? You can contact me. Call me. Email me. I'm your consultant. <laughs> By the way, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there. So that way you can join us during live streams and get to see the two videos we put out every week. And as you can see today, we do have six boxes to go through. So let me know in the comments if I was actually able to get the one that you really wanted. So let's go ahead and put these away. And start off with our first one over here. And the box itself is really cute, super colorful, and that's basically what caught my attention when I was looking around for new things to explore. And I absolutely love doing reviews of these things to make sure that I'm the one wasting my money so you don't. But again, we get more of this idea that you can use this as a 360 display. And we can see here that we're supposed to actually get tinier surprises. So not only do we have the bears, we're supposed to get little ceramic items, a paintbrush, a palette. So I'm curious what the surprises will look like at the end, but only really one way to find out. And oh, okay. We have a bag, one baggie, two baggie, and a display case. So we have a winky face and sunglasses. Okay. Anything else? No. And this is the, oh, okay. Look at that. So here it's basically telling us all the ones that we can get. Let's turn it around and you can see all the other ones that we can get as well. Again, we've seen those in the back of the box. And the display baggies themselves don't have an area, do they? No, it's not much of a rip area. But I think inside here, there's the bears. It's pretty gummy-esque. Let's cut you open and, oh my God. Goodness, the faces on these things. All right, first one we have. I don't know their names. I should probably know their names. I should probably know their names. Luckily, we have Kitty Editor. Kitty Editor, go ahead and put their names as soon as you find out. And I used to love Care Bears growing up as a little green. They have made so many different revamps of them, and I think there's even new shows now. And I think this version is pretty cute. Look at the flexibility on these little gummy characters. Super cute. Our second bear. Oh my goodness, look at the eyes on this little thing. Super sunshiny. You know, I keep mixing Care Bears with Popples. Does anyone remember Popples? I think they remade them in the early 2000s. But they were kind of like Care Bears, except they weren't just bears. They were all sorts of animals from all sorts of different parts of the world. But let me know if you do remember them. But look at the face on this one. Super cute. Here it is all the way around. Again, the pose of the hand. This one's pretty long hands compared to that one. I mean, look at the length. It's double the length of arm here, twice the amount of arm. So, so far we don't have an indication of what our environment is, but we do have another baggie. And I'm feeling around and I do feel like three surprises in here. So I'm guessing the bears count as two. So let's see what we have. Oh, oh, what? Hang on. One, two, oh, wait, what? Three, four? Hang on, I'm confused. Let's take a closer look at this. It looks like the first surprise we have here is a guitar. Very cute and tiny. Next. Okay. I'm free. You sound nasty. Headphones with little hearts on either side. And then we have two discs. The first thing that came to mind is that these are weights for weight training, but I think I see a theme of music here, so I'm guessing these are probably either vinyls or CDs. And next, we have another guitar. Hang on, let me double check. Yeah, we have one pink and one blue. But yeah, in total, we actually have five surprises. I really thought the bears would be a surprise. We would only get three. So this is actually better than I expected. And I thought they would also say that the inside of the box would be its own surprise. So technically, they're giving us way more than what we wanted, luckily, because I usually hate companies that do that. Where it's like, here's a surprise, even though it's something you expected. But okay, let's see the actual theme. We know that it's going to be music. So let's open the first one. Ooh. So here we have have a set of speakers. Is that speakers? Speakers. It's the thing that music comes out of. Kitty Editor's speakers, right? I don't know why I got confused. And the other side is, what are you? Oh, okay, it's the CD holder or the vinyl holder. So if we put this 
in here, look at that, we have music. Okay, now, I noticed little stubs here, so my guess is we have to put the bears on here. So I'm gonna put one bear here, yep, that works. But it doesn't stay, so don't, don't hold your breath, it will fall, it's not snug. And the other bear can go right here, voila, very cute. Now my question is, how do we get the guitar on the bear? Do we just kind of, this? No, that is not right. That is not right. Do I put it diagonally? Maybe diagonally. Maybe like this? Do we have instructions? Is this... Hang on. Yes. So according to the paper, yeah, we have to be able to put them a little bit diagonally like this. So the yellow one is supposed to get the blue. So kind of like this. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, not too bad. It's not holding, but it is there. So they're kind of rocking it out this way. So I can put you like a saw and you like a so. Voila, there you go. Wait, we do have headphones. I feel like I'd like to put the headphones right on this one. Can we do it? Can we do it? And I feel like we can do it. There you go. Here's our little one with the headphones and we do have an extra CD. We'll just kind of put it here for aesthetic reasons. <laughs> And I have to say, this is actually really cute. I didn't expect the items to be this tiny and this adorable. And they do have quite a bit of personality. Now, if you're thinking that the price tag is pretty expensive, I agree. I've actually seen them on sale for $5, not sponsored, not affiliated. So I feel like if this is something you like, $5 seems like a reasonable price tag. But I have to say my biggest complaint still is the fact that their case is also not their home. So you can't really put them away in their individual cases. There's just no space for the bears. I mean, especially the fact that they make this portable, I would have thought that at least you can put everything inside and take it with you. But the second you put one bear inside, it's okay. If you wanna put the second bear, this ain't closing. No. Oh, stayed open for a little bit. Hey! I got to squish it in there. That's good, okay. We'll see how long it takes before it opens, but it is a tight fit. Next, since we do have six, I really am hoping that we are going to get six different ones. There are indeed 10 to collect. So here's hoping for a new one. Okay, wait, are all the boxes different colors? So far it looks like all the colors are different. So the box should be an indication. Wait, there's another purple? No, that's the same one. Okay, yellow, pink, green, and blue. No, there are repeating colors. So even if we do get the same color, because even here, look, this one's blue and it's relaxing, and this one is blue and it's construction, well, building. So similar colored box doesn't mean it's a double. And we have purple and yellow, but purple is not complete. So let's just hope for another color. Oh no, we have another yellow. Oh no, that is the exact same one. Uh oh, okay, let's go ahead and open the accessories and see if it's the exact same ones, because that's going to give us a theme over here. Yep, okay, that is music theme. We're gonna just shove that back in there. Let's look inside. Yep, yep, okay, we don't need this. We're gonna put that away. Let's hope we don't get more doubles. Let's move on to the next one. And you best be something different. Sometimes you can tell, actually. If there's a code somewhere at the bottom, oh gosh, there is a code. I did not look at these. Sometimes when there's codes, you can tell if something is similar or different. Here we have one. Okay, it is green, it is different. Two surprises, here it is. We have a devious face on one side, as well as a laughing face on one. We have again another of these hooks. We haven't tested this hook yet, but it is flimsy. Oh my goodness. It is definitely quite flimsy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't even close it anymore. There you go. It's kind of flimsy, so proceed with caution. And here we have our bears because it's very gummy-esque. And let's see who we have. First bear is an adorably pink one. Still very gummy-esque, has a pose of kind of like to be or not to be. And the next one, oh my goodness, <laughs> this one is laying down. Okay, cute, very cute actually. This is absolutely adorable. I don't know what to do with this information. Look at the little bear butt, that's cute. Again, still very gummy-esque. All of them are pretty gummy and I love the squishiness of them. And now we're going to get hints on our theme. I have a feeling the theme could be relaxation because one of the bears is laying down, but that, that could be me. First thing is, we have tiny glasses, okay. You know what, let's try to put the glasses on anyways. Oh my goodness, look at that, that's cute. And then we have a parasol, okay. You know what, maybe it's the beach. 
Next we have, oh my goodness, we have two of them. We have another set of sunglasses. So you should, you should probably have some shades on. Gotta watch your eyes with the sun. And what is that? What is that? I'm not sure. It looks like a headband. So I'm guessing there's gonna be another one. No. Oh wait, there's more. Oh, this looks like an ice cream. Okay. This looks like a drink. Yes. I still can't tell. Oh, it's a floaty. And it's a tiny duck. So it's kind of like when you go into the water and you want to make sure that you have safety. <laughs> there you go. We have a floaty. I think this is a beach. We actually get one, two, three, four, five, six surprises in the baggies. And let's open our compartment. Here we have a swimming pool. So I'm guessing maybe this goes in. No, I'm guessing a bear. A bear goes in here. Next side. Oh my goodness. We have a sand castle. And I'm guessing this is where the parasol goes because that's the only crevice for it. There you go. <gasps> I think they made a mistake. They made a mistake. Okay, hang on. If we look at the image for the swimming theme, this green bear is supposed to be sitting down, but instead it's laying down. And there's technically a spot for us to put it in, but this bear doesn't need it. So I think there's a little mistake and it's supposed to be sitting down, but instead it's laying down. Okay. And then we could put the drink like so, turn this around. And now we can put this bear in the swimming pool. And we have an ice cream, but I'm not sure where to put it. So I'm just going to put it over here. It does not want to sit. Can you sit? No. Try again. There you go. That is a top heavy ice cream. It does not want to sit. And here is our beach themed little area for our Care Bears. Let me know what rating you would give this one on 10 as well as the previous one. I think it's pretty cute. I absolutely love the tiny accessories that come with it. I'm still not sure what to do with it. It feels more like a display type item more than an interactive item like the Polly Pockets. But sometimes collectibles don't need to have a purpose other than just looking cute. Voila. Our next one, I'm re I think I see pink in the back here. Pretty sure? No, it's orange. Wait, what? Okay. I thought we only got one bag of surprise, but it's over here. So we have an orange bear. <laughs> Look at the face. So cute. It's like, mm-hmm. I know what's going on. And the other face over here is like, oh my goodness, it's amazing. And there's a huge difference in terms of the accessories. This is really tiny. Feels like there's almost nothing. And then the bears are pretty chunky. So let's see what we have. Okay. We have a teal or minty bear. Oh no! Teal minty bear! Factory did you dirty! Okay, so our bear has a unique feature on their face. I guess it makes them unique. And it looks like it is either running or walking. Can't tell what it's doing. But okay, here it is all the way around. What's this? This bear just seems to have many birthmarks. So this bear is birthmarked. Okay, next one here is not birthmarked. It just seems like it has no markings whatsoever. Again, it looks like it might be dancing. So maybe the theme here for this one is dancing or running or something of the sort. But we're gonna find out a little bit more about the theme in the accessories. So let's pull one accessory out. The first one is, what are you? What is that? That is not telling me anything. So we have a rounded nut, maybe from a screw, a screw and nut bolt. I don't know, maybe. Okay, next mystery is, a drink. I'm thinking this is a drink. It looks like a drink. Okay. I still have no idea what this could be. Next item is another circle. I have no idea what this is. You know what? I'm just going to pull everything out. What is that? Are these microphones? Is this supposed to be like karaoke? What is this disc? This is a really, really unexciting theme. Well, let's go ahead and open it up. The first one is a computer. What? And over here we have more music. Now, some of these themes seem to be repeating, but with a lot less excitement in them. I'm not sure how I feel about this. What? Yeah. So here the theme is indeed singing. So it looks like these disc things go in here. Then a drink is like random and they're both just singing it out. So let's see if we can get the microphone on this hand. Like so. Yeah, it works. It's on there. It's gonna sing. Let's get the microphone on this hand. Is that gonna work? Why is it a funny pose? There it is. It has its mic. And I guess this is supposed to go right there. That is weird. And then a random drink. Okay. I'm really not feeling this theme. Put that one here. All right. So that one is in. Not too crazy about it. Let's see the other side. And we're gonna put you like so. And we can put the drink. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not crazy about this. What is this? What is that? 
It's not even on there. I don't see it. Grains, let me know if you do see it. We do already get two yellow discs like that one, but I don't know what this coin looking one is. I'm gonna give this one like a, a one on 10. I don't like this. It's probably the least creative of them all for some reason. Maybe it's just me and I'm just being hateful here, but I really don't like this theme. Our fifth box hopefully is a different one. Now I technically could again look at the codes at the bottom, but I don't want to do that just yet. Or actually, you know what? You can find the codes online pretty easy. I should have thought about that first, but you know what? I'm just gonna do what I gotta do, okay? Sometimes when you buy things online, you can't necessarily choose, okay? Don't at me. I'm just innocent here. Let's get a different color, please. Pink! Okay, that's new. Very good, okay. So if you look down here, in case some of you don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to codes, this is gonna be really hard to see. Let's get a box. Okay, so it's not going to be codes that are similar on every box. It's going to kind of be a code that's separate and different. So this can technically tell you if you're getting doubles or triples or anything like that. I actually didn't think about that until right now. It's too late. We're just gonna keep going as though these are surprises because to me they still are. And here is the face. This one's a winky face with the tongue sticking out and the other side is just the happy face. This is going to be the bears. These are the accessories. It seems like the accessories are pretty big on that one. Let's open it up, get our bears out. And our first bear is a pink one and it looks pretty happy. We don't know what's going on yet, but this is what it looks like. Next we have a yellow bear and it looks like it's licking its mouth. So maybe we're eating something, maybe we're baking something. It is looking a little to the side. And the actual theme should be a lot more obvious here. All right, what do we got? Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. So the first thing we have is a blue box of presents. Kind of looks like brains. Doesn't look like a bow, it looks like brains. And we also have it in yellow, and they are the exact same mold and size. Hang on, I'm trying, I'm trying to get it on the desk without looking. Okay, and then, oh my goodness, what are you? Two of the same shape, and it is ice cream. Okay, I was holding them upside down. So we have ice cream cups with the shape of bears, and we have swirly soft serve ice cream. Next is, what? It, that's a balloon, isn't it? <laughs> that's so funny. It looks like a balloon, but also not. It's, if you know what I mean, this motion. <laughs> it's a bear in the making, where my brain went to. <laughs> Definitely a balloon. Definitely a balloon. So if I have to guess, this is going to be the theme of party. So let's check out our box. Oh, is that a trombopoline? Not sure if that's a trampoline. And the other side, we have a park bench. Is it not a party? Celebrating. So it looks like it is a kind of celebration. So we have a park, a trampoline, I guess an outdoor party kind of vibe. And the orange one should have the balloon. So it looks like we can bring like so, I think. Can we hook it up? There you go. So we have our balloon character and it should be right here, like a so. And then we have presents, one over here. And I think we're gonna put the other present over there on the, on the chair. And we can have this character also just hanging out there. And the ice cream has nowhere to go. It's just kinda hanging out. I have to say this theme is also a little bit meh to me. I definitely feel like the first two were way more exciting. And I really wish we would have gotten the creating or the gaming one because it just seems like it had more interactive items. And this one, the items are just kind of laying there. So I'm gonna give this one a rating of about, let's say a five or a six on 10. And now we have our final box. I really hope we do get either the gaming or any kind of crafty one. Those are pretty cute. So let's put our hands together and pray to the Care Bear Gods of Evermore. Dear Care Bear Gods of Evermore, please protect me from doubles, triples, and defective items, but also, just give me the sculpting! Come on, we could do this. Sometimes the Evermore gods are cruel, but today, <coughs> today they're gonna be nice, right? Okay, okay, we have a green one, which we already got, but maybe it'll be different. Oh, oh no. Okay, let's take a look at the accessories because that's going to tell us right away if this is a double or not, please. And it is a double. It's going to be a beach theme. Yes, a beach theme. 
and we've already seen the beach theme. Here it is on the screen. You don't need to see it again. I'm gonna go ahead and say, unless you find this on sale, not worth your cash. Let me know which one that was your favorite. If you want to watch more unboxings, make sure you click up here. If you want to catch something a little different, like crafty, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.